pleasant afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we officially start this program, we would like to invite you all to please join us in the doxology to be led by Christian Tagal. We provide the lyrics so that you may join in your respective homes in this song of prayer. The song of praise will be followed by an opening prayer to be led by Michi and Sombria from the Amitician League of Elite Readers. for the blessings you faithfully shower to us every day. We thank you for bringing us together today for Youth Power's 14th year closing ceremony. Thank you for guiding every student as we continue the advocacy of reading and for blessing us with compassionate teachers and a supportive principal. We pray to you, O Lord, to help us in treasuring the wisdom we gained from the books that we have read May we forever be inspired to explore the world of reading and share it to others, 
so that they may also experience the fun way of learning that we, the grateful beneficiaries of this program, do. And today, as we come to a close to this year's service through the program, may your presence guide us to make this event a successful endeavor as we present the skills and talents with all glory to you. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Christian and Michi, for that beautiful prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem with Justin Vindalida conducting. Here are the select students from Solid Aqua and Taylors from Grade 9, Section 1 and 2. that special performance. Once again, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. I am Claire Abonita. And I am Mar Joseph T. Marayag. We are your hosts for today's event. Aren't you a bit nervous, partner? Because I am. Yeah, just a bit. But I am excited for the presentation. It looks like our yearly closing activities minus the parade of book characters. Right, well, I was ready to send out the script that Solid Aqua prepared. Well, you can still do that next reading season. Sure, partner. And now, dear readers, to officially begin our program, let us hear what Mom Debbie wanted to say. I know that the planning committee had been busy. Okay, 
Here we go. Please give a virtual round of applause for our homes, for our dedicated and hardworking youth power advisor, our master teacher, and reading program coordinator, Mrs. Davina V. Asuncion. Congratulations, Daniel Ann, for supervising the program. Good afternoon, dear readers. First of all, I would like to thank our beloved principal, Mrs. Maria Nympha David, for granting us this permission to showcase your communication skills in the form of performing the roles of your favorite characters from the books that you have read. It is indeed different from what we have been accustomed to since the beginning of the Youth Power Program. We could not parade around the block in book characters garb to promote your reading program to the incoming students of Galayaan National High School. Nevertheless, these year-end activities that you will present today is hope to yield the same results, and that is uh, to make the audience want to read books and be transported to a different, different world and learn many things aside from the lessons that your teachers teach in the classroom. Most of all, we aim for more students, teachers, and parents to learn to enjoy reading as a form of entertainment, as a hobby. This is also a time to celebrate our success because despite the pandemic, we were able to continue serving others and ourselves through reading. This is also the time to say goodbye to your leaders who served the program for the longest term of office because of the pandemic since we were not able to train other successors. And among others, this is also the time to prove that you, dear students, can meet the book reading challenge under Project NIMFA, which is digital reading. It means that nothing had stopped you from achieving your goals. And also, today is just another end of a beginning so dear parents students fellow teachers allow me to thank you for being our partners in the reading journey of the students this year good afternoon and welcome to our closing activities Thank you, Ma'am Debbie, for that very informative and welcoming remarks. I'm getting more excited, partner. Really? Well, let us have the first presentation of the book excerpt produced by Grade 8. They will perform the original script written by Kuya Mark Joseph. From the book Troll Bridge by Jane Yollens and Adam Stample, directed by Carlo Clarino, video edited by Luis Nogales, and citation by Marian Bertus. Please watch the excerpt of a rock and roll fairy tale by the group Literary Alliance.
gentlemen of Thunder. I am proud to present to you this year's 12 daily princesses whose beautiful likenesses will be carved on butter. They will now put their bust on the carved butter on the troll home bridge. Please allow me to call the girls with your warm applause. Where is Moira? What's keeping her so long? It's a good thing that Amiyo is in a hurry. He did not notice. Girls, go over that side and prepare some pose. I'll just contact Moira. Hello Moira, this is Jogrem. Where in God's name are you? Just go here and let's finish the shooting before it gets done. I'm here. Don't panic. Everything is cool. I'm dressed. See? Stop doubting and get on some makeup more. It's getting late. This place will be so good. And what the heck? The town's going to be left. Just, just go with the other girls. Just one more pose with your bottom feet. That's it. Go. The girls are particularly screaming on the top of their lungs. I will sign your concert with the boy band Philippines this weekend. So are you ready for the rehearsal? Dad, we're so tired. Can we take some time off? Please? Maybe one week so that you can refresh, Dad. Sure, but the rehearsal should start. Please, Dad, we promise to take care. I can take of myself. Dad, it's okay. Please. Oh, okay. Yes, let's go. Get in the car, pastors. We have a great week. Bye, Dad.
sign of men, you need to save your brother, child of men and woman, save the princess before the Vega Day. Today is the Thursday. On Vega Day, the princess will be married to the throne. Get my fiddle before the throne makes dinner up of you. One of your brothers is already eaten. Quick, hi, that animal. Now when did you last let your heart decide I can open your eyes Take you wonder by wonder Over sideways and under On a magic carpet ride Doom, you be lying, my sad sore. Three sons married the princesses. Your brother be dinner. Ha 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 ha! I'm your doom. If you don't return my brothers, I will eat your son. Your other son is already missing because I ate him. I be not believe you, little doom. You be lying. And all this there. He is missing because I ate him. Eat, little doom. Rawr! Let's have a contract, Mama bought me. Release the princess and I will teach your son how to play guitar. Would you like to try, little drum? Notes, notes, beautiful notes. to know, read Trollbridge by Jane Yolen and Adam Stemple. Wow! Did you read that book in grade 7? Unfortunately, not. But I'd like to know if they got out of the troll home. We'll see about that. Fellow students, teachers, and parents, our reading coaches would definitely say that it is very difficult to motivate reading. Well, we have many reasons, right, partner? Yes, busy with modules and other projects. 
I know, right? But I am also amazed that some students are able to read still. Our next number is a series of messages of appreciation from the new reading circle under Mom Pinkin Reyes. Please welcome the enthusiastic readers. Greetings everyone, my name is Mikaela Labado. I'm from Grade 10 Section 3 and I belong to Enthusiastic Readers. Being part of the Good Power program gave me a privilege that is close to my heart and that is to read books and to learn English more. I am grateful for the opportunity that I belong in this kind of program for it encourages me to do what I enjoy the most and at the same time I am also learning. I highly appreciate how the Youth Power works and I wish it well even after I left the school to continue my path on senior high school. Hi, I'm Joyce Antonio, part of the Reading Circle Enthusiastic Readers. The Youth Power Program helps me to be more confident in speaking and writing English. I've also got to learn and enjoy from all the books that I have learned. I've also explored other genres. I have encountered a lot of difficult words while reading, which helps me expand my vocabulary. The Youth Power Program makes my last year in Talayaan National High School more memorable, in which I will treasure for the rest of my life. Good morning, I'm Desi Arangilda from Gate and Section 3. My reading circle is Enthusiastic Reader. Speak English without fear, without shame, without guilt. This motto is what will stuck on my mind. Because of my program, my confidence to speak in English is increased. Because before, when I'm not part of it yet, I always think that my grammar is wrong. And also, I'm afraid to enter YB program because I thought that the teacher might scold me when I do some mistake. But when I start reading a book, my grammar is more understandable. And for me, YB program is the best thing happened in my high school life. Hi, I'm Grisel Kukilia from Creative Session 3, one of the enthusiastic readers. Being part of this youth power program and my circle is considered as one of my treasures here in my high school life. Actually, at first, I'm not really into reading, but since this pursues us to read and read, I became more active in reading not only fiction books, but also other kinds of genres of books. I came up with this realization that these kinds of programs really help us develop and enhance our reading comprehensions as well as our vocabularies and logical thinking. And as a member, I, Grisel, is going to try my very best to continue reading and learn from them. Hi, I'm Masena Justin Ashley Lee, then read from Enthusiastic Readers. Most of us don't have the confidence to speak English because we're afraid to make mistakes, but not anymore. Since we're in this program, it gives us courage to speak in English, and our vocabulary became vast. What I enjoy the most is that I am learning a lot because of the love for reading. Hi, I am Katrina Mula from Enthusiastic Leaders of Great and Session 3. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the teenagers, teachers, and students behind the success of Youth Power. You have amazed and inspired us daily, and for that, I am grateful for providing us all the knowledge and support that I needed to be able to face the future even though we're in the midst of pandemic. Reading helps me develop my vocabulary, comprehension, and it strengthens my mind. Youth Power also taught me how to be confident in speaking English. So with that, I hope that this program will continue to help students to become the best version of Reading is an enjoyable way of learning. That is what the Youth Power made me realize. Being part of this program has given me a worthwhile experience. It's like being in an adventure where I get to be exposed in the ways of life, new ideas, and beliefs. I always feel like in every book I read, I can gain knowledge and valuable lessons. Only that, I also realized that through this program, I can improve my vocabulary and relieve stress at the same time. It is really true that youth power can be a path for many students 
so that everyone can enjoy, share, and learn new things through reading. I believe that through this program, many students will learn the value of reading in an enjoyable way. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Hey Marl, wanna get serious? Sure, I would like the viewers to know that the president of YP has served the longest term of office. I learned from my sister, who is also a YP member, that Ate Jasha was a trainee when she was put into office. And now she is moving up to grade 11. And she will turn over the book of responsibility to her success. Oh, I guess I know. We see the position is always offered to great and presidential who was trained for at least two years. Let's watch this. Good afternoon, my fellow youth power members and supporters. My name is Joshua J. D. Omania. I was appointed president of Youth Power in 2018. Unlike the previous presidents who trained for at least one to two years, I was not given prior training because Youth Power closed in 2017. But I braved all the responsibilities, banking on a trust accorded to me by my mentors. In fact, all of the accomplishments during my term of service are contained in this book of responsibility. It contains reports, action plans, reading matrices, graphs and tables of reading data, reading forms, letters, permits, and financial reports. All the other documents will be stored in the e-library for my successor to learn from. And so today, at the close of reading season year 14, under Project NIMFA, I hereby turn over the Youth Power Book to Juliana Christine Salonga. Good luck and please keep the reading fire burning. I, Juliana Christine Salonga, having trained at the Youth Power Reading Center as Grade 7 Monitor, and this school year as e-librarian, do hereby solemnly accept the Book of Responsibility. Thank you for trusting my capability to lead, and I will do my best to do my duties to the best of my ability. So, congratulations and best of luck to our new but very capable youth power leader. The next number is to present to us a virtual awarding of Certificate of Recognition and Service Medal to our outgoing leaders from Grade 10. May we call in the Chairman of Project NIMFA and Head Librarian to read the award and mention the awards. Let us all welcome Mom Leirin S. Madia. I have the honor to present to you the Certificate of Appreciation and Youth Power Service Medal to our graduating officers who gave their best in service of youth power. Allow me to read the citation from the certificate. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, National Capital Region, Schools Division Office, Kalayaan National High School, Caloocan City, awards this Certificate of Recognition to the graduating Youth Power Officers in recognition of their exemplary contribution in the successful implementation of the School Reading Program, Project NIMFA in Youth Power 14 Book Reading Challenge with the theme, Service to Others, Service to Oneself. Given via FB Live on Youth Power Group this 14th day of July at Kalayaan National High School, Phase 10B, Bagong Silang, Caloocan City. Signed, Divina V. Asuncion, Master Teacher 1, Reading Program Coordinator. Romeo A. Mahinay, Ph.D., Head Teacher 6, English Department, and Maria Nympha U. David, Principal 4. Congratulations to Jaja J. B. Omania, President and Student Co-Proponent of Project Nympha. Charlize R. Trinidad, Vice President and E-Librarian. Leia G. Arangoso, Treasurer. 
Jody M. Turqueza, Property Custodian and E-Librarian. Carol Jan N. Makabale, Grade 10 Monitor. And Romela Lee P. Tarnate, Grade 10 Monitor. Your loyalty and commitment to youth power is commendable, and as you continue your journey through senior high school, remember that youth power is so proud to have leaders like you. You will leave behind a legacy that the younger generation of youth power will truly cherish and continue. Thank you very much and congratulations! Congratulations and thank you so much Ate Jasha, Ate Char, Ate Jody, Ate Lea, Ate Romela, and Ate Carol. Thank you for your services and the hard work to the youth power. Let us all witness another masterpiece from the brilliant minds of Grade 8 Group 1. They will present to us the excerpt from the book A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. The script was written and directed by no other than Juliana Christine Salon. Dubbers, animation editors, and a soak citations of sources are done by Ms. Salonga et al. Let's watch and be amazed! <laughs> fortune with a plot that's not quite lawful. It's hard to fathom how the orphans manage to live through it, or how a decent person like yourself would even want to view it. Just look away, look away. There's nothing but horror and inconvenience on the way. Ask any stable person should I watch and they will say, look away, look away, look away. This, but that's how the story goes. Violet Bottler was the eldest Bottler child. She was 14 years old, right-handed, had a real knack for inventing and building unusual devices. When Violet Bottler tied her hair up like that, it was a sure sign that the police, levers, and gears of her inventing mind were working at the top speed. Glass Bottler was the middle child and only boy. He was little older than 12 and wore glasses, which made him look intelligent. He was intelligent. Sunny Bottler was an infant, a word which here means a person of the age at which one mostly speaks in a series of unintelligible tricks. So most people had trouble understanding what she was saying. What Sunny lacked in communication skills, however, she made up for with the size and sharpness of her four teeth. Certainly, I wish I would go back and change the history of the bottlers at this very moment, rather than decent, 
leading to music, tribulation, and dark inconvenience that will occur shortly. Is that mysterious figure? Don't I seem scary because of the fog? It's Mr. Poe! From the band? What's he doing here? How do you do? Fine, thank you. It's a nice day. It is a nice day. I have some very bad news for you children your parents have perished in a terrible fire they perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home i'm very very sorry to have to tell you this my dear perished means killed know what perished means i am the executor your parents' estate, which means I'll be handling all the matters concerning everything they left behind. What did they leave behind? Financial security. Your parents left behind an enormous fortune which will be yours when Violet turns of age. Until then, you will be placed with a proper guardian or guardian as decided by myself and my fellow bankers at Mugtuary Man Management. Now that I've found you a new suitable guardian, I'm going to take you to your new home before banking hours begin. I know you must be nervous about living with a new guardian. I remember how I was when I was your age. We're all different ages. Well, I should think at least a fraction of your unhappiness will bring to excitement man. I know he's certainly very eager to meet you, and he's employed as an actor, so you know, his excitement is genuine. Never heard of him. It's either, um, let's see, what is it? Your third cousin, four times removed, or your fourth cousin, three times removed. In any case, he's removed. Still, it's only three months away, and your parents will be specific about you being raised by your closest living relative. Do you really think that's what closest living relative means? Hmm, Mr. Poe? Hmm? If you live so close by, why didn't our parents ever invite him over? Possibly, because he was very busy. As a banker, I'm often very busy myself, which is why this garden drop-off is going to be a bit hasty. Hasty means quickly, because I'm due at the bank soon. We know what hasty means. Hello there, salutations. You must be the Baudelaire children. Yes, I'm Violet Baudelaire, and this is my brother Klaus, and my sister Sunny, and this is Mr. Poe. He's been arranging things for us. Mugtuary Money Management. My name and title are on the card. Also, I may be in line for a promotion, so that may change. Oh, well, I'm just distrust of the high card. I just bought a new tall kit because my food processor broke. Then, I treated myself to new file card for my private library. And frankly, I don't have an acute literary sense. Then, to top it all off, I forgot to buy a new bread knife. We'd be more happy to be of assistance, Justice Tross. My sister is very mechanically minded and I'm quite adept at library science. I'd also be happy to help. What my sister means is, her kid is perfect for slicing bread. Well, how wonderful! How lucky am I to have such unusual children in my life? Are you Count Olaf's wife? What? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Goodness me. No, 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 no. I don't even really know him that well. He's just my neighbor. And his house is over there. That's strange. I said specifically, I was waiting very eagerly to get his hands Hello, 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 children. I am Count Olaf. 
that are not actor in your new culture. You're welcome. Thank you. Please come in and mind wipe your feet to the mat so you don't track anyone. And don't forget your enormous fortune. This is where we sleep orphans. Out of all enormous bedrooms in this enormous mansion, I've chosen this one for safety and comfort. There's only one bed. As you can see, I have provided a local to you. This complimentary pair of rocks. Thoughts? First of all... First of all, first impressions are often wrong. Very true. For example, the first impression of me may be that I am a terrible person. I know the nurse, I know the cotton boys. I'll give you a moment to unpack. It's okay, Sunny. He's gone. He's horrible. Did you see the tattoo on his ankle? A tattoo? It's just a decorative pigment on the skin. It's not a sign of being a weak person. Unless it's on a wicked person, how could their parents put us here? It's just a mistake. It'll get sorted out. Until then, we'll make this our home. Mother used to say home is where you hang your hat. But we don't have any hats. Just rocks. Klaus, have you read any books on people who make homes in difficult places? There's a village in the Pacific Islands, suspended on ropes above an active volcano. How do they manage? They own very little, in case it erupts. Then, we're already one step ahead. We own nothing. If they can survive that, we can survive Count Olaf. At times like this, surrounded by colleagues and cohorts, gathered in fellowship for the purpose of plotting theater, there's an eternal question that always springs to mind. When are we going to eat? Dinner is served. As I was saying before the help interrupted, there's no I in acting, no selfish urges, no arrogance, no ego, no vanity, no dangers over abundance of inflated self recall. There's only what the French call certain escargot. It is the first burst of applause when the curtain rises, the second burst of applause when the leading man glides out from the wings, faces his crowd, and recites the soliloquy. I'm that. His soliloquy. It is a trio of the 14th mandatory standing ovation. I give and I give to my public, just I give and I give to these arpans. But sometimes, and every actor does this, I ask myself, is it worth it? Is it really worth it to chase an enormous fortune? Where's the roast beef? What? The roast beef. We didn't make any roast beef. We make putanesca sauce. And homemade pasta. What? No roast beef? Didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. Look at me, guest! They... They can hardly touch this foreign revolting food. In agreeing to adopt you, I became your father. And as your father, I met someone to be truffled with. You asked them to make dinner. All they did was slap together some disgusting sauce. That's what happens with wealthy kids. Money is really a corrupting influence. Well, let's not get carried away. Hmm, you're a pretty little one. I demand that you serve roast beef to myself and my guest. We don't have any! We made pasta putanesca! Chocolate pudding for dessert. Sunny! Her go! Uh. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. <laughs> this table is a mess. There's hardly a place to put down the baby. Johnny! What are you doing for rehearsals? You children are to clean the table and wash the dishes and polish the silver and rinse out all the wine bottles for recycling and then you are to go straight to your beds. You mean our bed? You've only provided us with one bed. If you want another bed, tomorrow we will be going to town and purchase one. You know perfectly well we haven't any money. The money our parents left behind is not to be used until Violet. The theater awaits. Are you alright? No, this isn't. What? Better than nothing. There are many many things that are better than nothing. A home cooked meal is better than nothing. A roof over one's head is better than nothing. And a place to sleep even if the bed is small and a blanket topped with tears is better than nothing. But being raised in a violent and sinister environment by a man who's only interested in one's fortune, then comfort and well-being, is not better than nothing. And as the bottlers will discover, there are some things that even a long night of introspection cannot change. The bottler orphans knew they had to find a way out of their dreadfully unfortunate circumstances. And perhaps solve the mystery of how they ended up in them. I have the same dedication to researching and presenting this story, no matter what dangers it puts me in. Trouble and strife can cover this world like the dark of night or like smoke from a suspicious fire. And when that happens, all good, true, and decent people know it's time to volunteer. From the beginning of this miserable tale, the last melancholy scene, I cannot think of a single line, a single word that does not chill me to my deepest bones. However, the sad history of the Baudelaire Orphans did not begin in the private, somewhat ill-decorated office of Mr. Pope at Mount Wari Mami Management, nor does their story begin on this gray and cloudy morning at Billy Beach, where the Baudelaire children, Violet, Klaus, and Sunny, received terrible news. In fact, the tale of the Baudelaire Orphans begins long before the fire which left the children with practically nothing to their names. The story begins before their brief and unpleasant stay with the Pope family. It begins before the children meet Justice Lewis, a nice lady who unfortunately is not their guardian. And before the Baudelaire Orphans were placed under the care of the terrible actor with a mysterious tattoo of an eye on his uncle, who made the Baudelaire Orphans sleep in an awful room through a series of a difficult and irritating chores and cooked dinner for his disreputable and largely untalented theater room, resulting in an act of violence that ought not to be shown on screen. If you want to know what happened next, read the second book where you will discover how brilliant these bottles and children are and yet continue to be annoyed because their life is indeed a series of unfortunate events. Amazing! They performed like a pro! Congratulations! And now, we have come to the most awaited moment. I never thought that it will be possible. One book per week is next to impossible considering the amount of schoolwork we have. But obviously, 7th students were able to meet the 10 book challenge. Let me call the grade 10 e-librarians to announce the achievers. Please welcome with a warm applause, Ms. Judith Arquesa and Ms. Charlize Trinidad. Good 
morning, Char. Good morning, Judy. As your Youth Power Senior eLibrarians, we have the honor to present to you this year's 10 Book Challenge Awardees. These are the YP members who were able to read 10 or more ebooks this season. Their medals were delivered to their homes and awarded by their proud parents. Congratulations to Antoinette Lee Cayetano, Michi Yan Sombria, Lian Micaela Mirasol, John Lloyd Magdua De Varas, Risti Merel Gopio, Rian Ashley Biso, Rachel Malakad, Precious Jari Gasper. Also, congratulations to Maria Teresa Caraballo, Juliana Christine Salonga, Caroline Egin, Diana Rio Tutor, Maria Cariela Dumenden, Marjorie Talenhale, Ariston Adrias, Micaela Labado, and Jeremiah Eve de la Cruz. Great job, everyone! Being able to judge all the academic responsibilities while reading voraciously is such a great feat, especially during this time of pandemic. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations! Congratulations, Achievers! Well, we are the most lucky that this person I am about to call is very, very supportive of our reading program. In fact, our digital reading is named after her very enthusiastic, dynamic, and lovable personality and leadership. Please welcome our own school head, Mrs. Maria Nympha U. David. To our school's division superintendent, Dr. Nerisa Elosaria. To our ASDS, Dr. Jusdado Medina and Dr. Flor Pereira. To our chief CID, Ma'am Jocelyn Alinyab. And our SGOD chief, Dr. I.B. Perez. To our Education Supervisors and PSDS of the Division of Caloocan, especially to Dr. Jose P. Luzon, our very hardworking PSDS in charge of Kalayaan National High School, parents, teachers, and students, a pleasant good morning to all. I would like to start my message to you today with a very popular reflection for this week. According to one of the priests I admire in our country, he says that responsibility is the counterpart of privilege, which means we are responsible for our actions. And in order that we will maintain our integrity as a person, we have to uphold to what should be we are, as a leader and a part of the group that we belong. Since the youth power of the school has been long organized by our very hardworking and dynamic youth power advisor, Ma'am Divina Asuncion, with the help of our department head, Dr. Romeo Mahinay, who never give up to continuously help and assist our struggling students. In this pandemic time, our very dynamic eight department heads 
with our teachers hand in hand help each other in order to make this youth power project NIMPA to become successful with a very dynamic and dedicated youth power officers by putting up the KNHS ebook library. This library encourages our active board directors and alumni to participate in their storytelling and reading activity to augment the shortage of reading materials for the school clientele. Through this program, students become aware of their weaknesses that needs to be strengthened and to develop their skills in reading in order to expand their horizons. Let us not stop our passion in reading because it is where we can help ourselves to become articulate and to develop our self-confidence in moving forward amidst of these adversities brought about by pandemic, in pursuing our dreams and meeting nice people who can help us to reach our goal. Let this ceremony mark the new chapter of our life as youth power officers and members who accept the challenges to make change to our extraordinary learners of this millennium and make difference to effect change in the education sector. Let us not stop to our passion to improve our craft that will nurture us to develop a strong nation amidst this pandemic. Again, I would like to extend my warm congratulations to our Board of Directors and our alumni for their non-stop help extended to our Youth Power Club, uh, especially the Project NIMPA and to our uh, English Department for their support and all their expertise that uh, will help to strengthen the reading skills of our struggling students of Kalayaan National High School amidst of this pandemic. Congratulations! And again, mabuhay ang Kalayaan National High School, mabuhay ang Youth Power Project NIMPA. Thank you so much, Mom David, for your very inspiring words. Well, dear people out there, are you ready for the last but the best presentation of Grade 8? Here is the masterpiece of Group 2 from the Page Seekers. The excerpt is from the book by Gail Foreman, If I Stay. Presentation is written, directed, and source cited by Rian Ashlopiso and video edited by Luis Nogales. Let's enjoy the show. Everyone thinks it was because of the snow, and in a way, I suppose that's true. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I wake up in this morning to a thin blanket of white covering our front lawn. Everyone in the country get busy clearing the roads. It is wet water that drops in the sky and drops and drops. Not the frozen kind. Everyone. It's snow day. Snow day, snow day. Dad, let's go make a snowman. But it's hardly sticky to the road, my son. Maybe you should consider a snow amigo. My dad was once a guitarist and composer for a popular local band for many years. He quit when Teddy was born and became a middle school English teacher instead. There is a nice picture of your young man there. Really? A picture? Yep, it's about the most we've seen of him since summer. I know. Adam's band, Shooting Star. It's an upward spiral, which is a great thing. I'm happy for him. Daddy, the dress, we're going on an adventure. Seeing us from Mrs. School today, we have to listen to the news a while so we don't become ignorant of As I was saying, NPR first, and then when the news is over, the classical session, Teddy, we will not torture you with that. You can use this one. I, I want SpongeBob! It's in the machine! Son, you break my heart. I concentrate on the notes, imagining myself playing. 
feeling grateful for this chance to practice. Happy to be in a warm car with my sonata and my family. I close my eyes. I tried to get closer and saw the metal green of a silver with tiny cello and guitar drums. Adam gave it to me for my 17th birthday. I looked on a furries. I'm wearing it now. What would you say if I had a ticket to the master? Shut up, you do not. I do! At the Snitzel in Portland. That's the place. A pair of tickets. You interested? Are you serious? Of course, I'll go. Mmm, okay. What was this? Exactly. A day? A friendly favor? A knock of charity? I didn't like being on soft ground any more than I liked fumbling my way through a new movement. We drove to Portland, making small talk. Then, when you join my play, League and Tango, Adam reached over and grasped my hand. I squeezed his hand back, and we sat there like that for the rest of the concert. Oh, Mia, you wait. You didn't really get those tickets from a family pet, did you? Mm -hmm. That was two weeks of pizza delivery tips. Why? Why? I never seen anyone get as into music as you do. That's why I like to watch your practice. You get the cutest crease in your forehead, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with music and even I don't get transported like you do. So what? I'm like a social experiment to you? No, no. You're not an experiment. My eyes flickered upward. Adam was there waiting for me. That was how it started. What's happening? Answer me! Yeah, we decided to believe or die. So hang in there. Where's Adam? I want to see him! I didn't feel like I belong with my family. And now, I didn't feel like I belong with Adam. Except, unlike my family, who was stuck with me, Adam had chosen me. And this, I didn't understand. I'm sorry, sir. You can't go in immediately. Only family in the ICU. What? 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 What do you mean I can go in? Huh? This is. This is. Oh. 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 Can I help you, young man? Nurse, I need to visit the patient. Please let me go in, huh? Oh. Oh. I'm afraid that's not possible. But she's my girlfriend, okay? She's my girlfriend. Mia! Mia, she's... She's being well cared of. Okay. Okay, okay. I understand that. And I'm grateful for it. But... Nurse, I really need to see her. Please, nurse! I'm sorry, young man, but visitations are restricted to the immediate family. You don't understand. Do I need to call security? Oh. 
Don't, 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 don't. Oh. I have something to tell you. Something about having a boyfriend? How do you know? Oh, come on. Everybody knows. It's the hottest gossip this side of Melanie Faro dropping out to have a baby. Anyhow, I knew even before he knew. I was afraid you'd be mad at me. I'm not, but I will be if you ever lie to me again. Okay. Honey, what's wrong? Baby. Baby. I'm so sorry. If one of us should have been left behind, it should be. No! Teddy! Teddy! I want this to be over! I shouldn't have to care. I shouldn't have to work this hard. I realize now that dying is easy. Living is hard. By Adam. Daddy is gone. Mom and Dad are gone. This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm not sure that I want to wake up. I've been trying to think of what Danny would want me to say to you. I remember the day that he, he quit the band. He just up and said that it is the time. I was surprised. I never really liked the way the band sounded, but I knew how important it was to him. So I asked him, then why are you quitting? And he said, You make sacrifices for your kids. For your kids. That's why I quit the band. That's why I'm here, Mia. I want you to live. I want that more than anything in this world. I want you to fight like hell to stay with us. But it might be too hard for you to keep fighting. So, if you want to go, I want you to know it's okay. It's okay. I'll take him over. He was pretty boneheaded. Move you pulled earlier. It was the spirit. No, we were romantic. Almost no matter. We got to deal with the situation at hand. And she's still here. In you go. Oh, no. oh God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, God. Yeah. 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 When he first sees me, he blanches, like I'm some huge created from the black lagoon. How are you doing? Well, you would not believe the crazy night it's been. I like how Kim is coming to me normally, just jabbering on, spinning a burger, as if we were together on the couch, drinking coffee and catching up. I kept thinking, what's the worst that could happen? I go to jail, mama's conniption, I get grounded for you. But after what's happened today, that would be nothing. Even going to jail would be easy compared to losing you. 
She probably doesn't realize that in a weird way, her remark frees me, just like Grump's permission did. I open my eyes wide now. I sit up as much as I can, and I listen. Stay. There's no way for what happened to you. There's no good side of it. But there is something to live for. And I'm not talking about it. It's just... I don't know. Maybe I'm talking crazy. I know. I know I'm in shock. I know I have it just what happened to your parent, Teddy. But if you stay, I'll do whatever you want. I will treat, I will quit the band, go with you to New York. But if you need me to go away. I'll do that too. I was thinking maybe going back going back to your own life would just be too painful. That be maybe it'd be easier for you to raise us. And that would suck. But I do it. I can lose you if I don't lose you, you today. I'll let you go. If you stay. I close my eyes. I cover my ears. I cannot watch this. I cannot hear this. The low piano plays almost as if in warning. It comes to like heart bleeding. And it's like something inside of me improves. I'm still learning to love. Just starting to crawl. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'm sorry. you make choices in life and sometimes choices make you you're the one that I love and I'm saying goodbye wow and wow indeed Great acting and editing skills. Congrats, guys! And now, after all the achievements that we have witnessed today, we have to show our deep appreciation to our WSA subject teachers. Please welcome Daniel Ann Alvarez to read the citations in the certificate. Ati Dani. Thank you, Claire. Good afternoon, everyone. We would like the reading public to know that the success of Youth Power is in partnership with all the other subject areas that teach English as medium of instruction. Today, we can finally thank our teachers who supported us during the term of office of Ms. Jasri Umania. Please allow me to read the citation and call the name of our teachers. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, National Capital Region, Schools Division Office, Kalayaan National High School, Caloocan City. 
Certificate of Appreciation is given to in appreciation of his, her, invaluable contribution in the successful implementation of the school reading program as WSA program subject teacher by motivating students to read books through the Youth Power Program from 2018 to 2021 and in full support of Project NIMPA in Youth Power Year 14 Book Reading Challenge with the theme Service to Others, Service to Oneself. Given on FB Live on Youth Power Group, this 14th day of July 2021 at Kalayaan National High School, Phase 10 B, Bagong Silang, Kaloocan City. Signed by Mrs. Divina V. Asuncion, Master Teacher 1, Reading Program Coordinator, Dr. Romeo A. Mahinay, Head Teacher 4, Head of English Department, and Mrs. Maria Nympha U. David, Principal 4. Allow me to call our teachers, Mrs. Loris L. Zacarias, Ms. Krisha Marie D. Liana, Mr. Brigston James Catalan, Ms. Rochelle Ogalesco, Mrs. Honey Claire H. Chavez, Ms. R. B. D. Paz, Mr. Antonio Brita, Miss Vence Domingo Mrs. Ma Teresa Villena Miss Majesty P. Ortiz Miss Regine S. Pizarras Mrs. Salome Estrella Mrs. Gemma D. L. Abunita Mr. Edwin Guillermo Mr. Leo Angelo Alonso Mrs. Maylene Campilos Mrs. Gina S. Gili and Mr. Bart Tan Jr. Congratulations, Ma'am, Sir. To God be the glory. Finally, we came to an end. To give us his congratulatory message, may I present the Head of English Department and the proud father of our reading mentors, please give it up to Dr. Romeo A. Mahina. Good day to everyone at Kalayan National High School. On behalf of our Education Program Supervisor for English Department, Dr. Christian J. Lagan, PSDS of Galaocan North District, assigned to Kalayan National High School, Mr. Jose P. Luzon, and our very supportive principal, Mrs. Maria Nimfayu David, I would like to congratulate the teachers of the English Department for consistently implementing and assigning a reading program that suits to the needs of learners from various levels during this pandemic school year headed by your master teachers, Mrs. Divina Asuncion, Master Dennis Campos, Dr. Maria Cristina Reyes, Dr. Isabel Olayon, Dr. Marina Cadabuna, Miss Maria Vilma Batilo, and to your constituents in your grade levels, your consistent efforts in assigning appropriate trading programs to our learners is commendable. Congratulations! Having modified the annual 20 book challenge for proficient and advanced readers under Project NIFA to give way to digital reading is a proof that our school never makes excuses in continuing its advocacy. The home-based program for instructional leaders is still alive and the project ABRC modules for struggling and developing readers is ready to be revived as soon as the threat of COVID-19 has abated. And today, 
despite the pandemic that is affecting lives all over the world, in their simple yet ingenuous ways, the implementers of youth power presented this opportunity for us to recognize the hard work of our students to achieve their goals. Allow me to congratulate the youth power year 14 and their project NIFA for enjoining a total of 285 book readers in your challenge. I am aware of course that this number would not have been possible if not for the motivation from their respective teachers in other subject areas. For that assistance, I am grateful to you, teachers of math, science, TLE, MAPE, and to your department heads. Out of that number, 15 participants from various grade levels truly deserve their YP gold medal and a certificate of achievement. As for Project NIMFA, our energetic and beloved principal, and I salute the reading teachers, particularly Mrs. Learin S. Madia, the project chairman, and your student e-librarians for your worthy activities. Congratulations. And to the graduating officers of Youth Power, thank you for all your hard work and dedicated service to your reading program. Again, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Partner, our task is fulfilled, and I am very thankful to Ma'am Debbie for this opportunity. Yes, indeed. Well, this has been your host, Claire Abonita. And I'm Mar Joseph T. Marayag. Stay at home, stay safe, and continue reading. <laughs>